Compact Creations. It has been a minute since I've done one of these. And in the honor of not doing one of these in a while, I haven't used this thing, the Drum Brew Impact, in a long, long time. Um, oh man, this thing is dusty. I usually keep my stuff in the boxes, but I don't know how dust still gets in there. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to do a quick little jam on these two. I have the Circuit Rhythm. I guess full disclosure, I work at Novation. I'm just using tracks because with Compact Creations, for the most part, I try to keep the setup small, simple, and relatively affordable or cheap. I know that means something completely different to literally everybody. So you can get these pretty cheap used, the impacts, and Circuit Tracks, I'm pretty sure you can get them used now, maybe, I don't know. Um, I know the rhythm exists, and I was thinking about using the rhythm, but it just came out, and if, it always feels weird doing stuff on Novation on here with you, right? Because I'm not at work. I'm chilling. I got the hat off. I'm just relaxing. Got the AC blasting, you know? So it's nighttime. Like, you know, the same my 9 to 5. This is just us hanging. So it always feels weird. Just know that I work there. Um, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to bash it or anything like that. But, yeah, I guess everything I say, just take it with a grain of salt. Um, so this setup is super simple. MIDI out of tracks, going into impact just to start the clock. Uh-oh. Just to start the clock. What the? I thought I was on. Okay, cool. <laughs> just to start the clock. Audio out of the drum brute impact is going into circuit tracks, into input one, which if you go into the mixer is just MIDI channel one. So um, that's why we're able to hear it, right? I haven't set the volume levels yet. Whoa. Okay, cool. That is really loud. So I'm going to focus on drums first. I'm going to just go ahead and do uh, steps here. Say, boom. So I'm going to go into my mixer and turn up MIDI 1. I'm actually going to turn this up as a whole. Let me make sure my levels are set. My bad, my bad. Cool, so I'm just going to take a, a gentler approach. I'm turning the volume up on the impact going into here, but then I'm just gonna turn down synth one and synth two. And the reason I'm using tracks is because it has the two synth engines in there. I figured that would kill two birds with one stone instead of me having to have a bunch of multiple synths. And this can't do MIDI sequencing. So I was like, cool, this has built-in sequencer. Let's just do that. Where is our uh, class at? So I usually start with accents, right, for the most part, and then I add the quiet steps later. Let's see if that'll even um, work with this. Man, a long time ago I did this like um, couple tips that I can do on the impact. I need to go rewatch that. It's been a while since I've used this. Let's see. Okay, cool. This is cool. I want to go ahead and copy this pattern. Um, oops, copy pattern to two. We'll go to pattern two. And then here I can just go up into our open hats. And then I want to go, actually, you know what? That's a little loud. I'll do the quiet ones here. Oh, I like this one loud here. Cool. say I want to close it yeah that's cool so I'm gonna extend this just here Wait, where are we at, so? So 
So I'm doing the unquantized, which gives you those like weird little micro steps that you can edit later on. But I'm just kind of digging it the way they are right now. Actually, one of them's a little funky. It's the low toms. Ah, it's this one right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit that one. There it is, cool, easy. So now let's get some synth stuff going. On, uh, you know, it's so funny, on tracks, I'm so glad that they added the oscillator mod and modulation, because on OG circuit, There'd be some patches that did the craziest stuff to the pitch. And I can hear that the patch was so close to being what I wanted it to be, but the pitch was just going crazy. So now you can actually turn that off, thankfully. Like this one. See that big ramp up? I don't like that. I can just turn oscillator on down now. And it's, there it is. Turn a little bit of that chorus -y distortion out. Know where this is from oh if you know where this is from at least it sounds very similar to it let me know down below <laughs> oh yes <laughs> uh, we're gonna duplicate this and then I'm gonna just set the gate to all of these uh, where are we at note the beginning gate okay cool and then I'm gonna just divide the tempo I'm resetting my ball I'm realizing this was all really low duplicate that synth pattern, synth 2, to a new pattern. Uh, and I'm just gonna lay a lead line on top of it. So I'll just go octave up a couple times. Sidechain these two synths to the 
ghost kick of drum one, so. Now this kick really stands out, right? And I can even add, let's say, a little bit of reverb to this. Nah, I don't like it. It gets the kicks too messy. We'll put a synth too. Oh, you know what I can do to make that those synth notes quite out? Go to velocity. Set on the bass. Man, I kind of like. That's kind of the one, huh? Yeah, that's kind of the one.